Holding On To Hope is a new podcast from Lifeline Australia in which people who've come through the darkness of suicidality share the connection that gave them hope. At Lifeline, the connection we make with people who are experiencing emotional distress is fundamental to all we do. We know it's what provides the hope to continue living, but we also understand that reaching out for help is not as easy as it sounds. By choosing to share these stories as podcasts, we hope to make it easy for people to safely hear the experience of others. I was, I suppose, a high-level ultra-endurance athlete around the world, had done race after race, year after year. Um, eventually, a bad race led to a heart condition that sort of stopped and paused that racing at the time that led to, obviously led to a whole series of events that culminated in it. I suppose an attempt at taking my own life probably three years ago. I lost both parents within the space of probably under six months. I had a marriage that was falling apart, all sorts of stress going on around me and looked at the only solution was to finish it. In my position, I was saved by a really close friend who down the track now has become my partner. And I, you know I mean, that blesses me every day. I had this perfect storm of, of all the, the wrong things sort of not going right in my life. You know, it all sort of came to a head and became too much one day and I just, you know, I had that small window where everything aligns and your brain tells you that it's the right thing to do. I was just, yeah, sitting there contemplating everything and I was lucky that when I picked up the phone that day to call my best friend, that he answered. In the telling of these incredible stories, we also aim to inspire a more compassionate society an Australia where every person realises their inbuilt capacity to be supportive of those around them. The stories on Holding on to Hope are some of the most important conversations you will ever hear. I, I wanted to jump on this podcast because I want this stigma of suicide to go away. I hope everyone listens to it. No two stories are ever, ever going to be the same. And, and I think at the end of the day, we need to realise that there are better options.